Dr. Jekyll's working for his girls. He's got to jump up and hit that bottle to knock out some seed. Let's see if he does it. He's too busy eating it. Well, here's hoping Dr. Jekyll's getting better. He was actually on his perch this evening when I checked on him. Yeah, what do you think about that? And for the last, eh, I guess, four days, he hasn't been able to hop up onto his perch, which, which is probably two feet in the air. He hasn't been able to hop up there and stay. And uh, he was in there this afternoon, or this evening, when they were going to bed. And I went out this just now to go get him from the perch and give him his baby vitamins. Um, and he was on the floor of the coop. So he's been getting a half a squeegee full. I don't know how much it is of baby vitamins. Hopefully it's helping some of the nutrients he's lacking. Um, cross your fingers, say a little prayer that God heals this little guy. He's actually a big guy. He's not a little guy. He's huge. He's a huge chicken. Huge rooster. But he is the gentlest rooster I have ever, ever had. And I've had several of them. And his father actually used to beat the crap out of me. Flog me every damn time I'd walk into that coop. Just to feed him and his girls. And that's the thanks I got. But he used to go and beat his dad's butt all the time. So... I mean, look how docile he is. And he is sick, but. Alright, Doc. Say goodnight. Say goodnight. Roosters are supposed to do. Stay with their flock. I got Snap, the orange and green one, and Crackle, the big polka dot one. They guard their flock. Stays with them. I'm like Dr. Jekyll, who is over here. He's in there. See him? Yeah, he's got a few girls with him. Maybe four, five. That's not his. But he's got other girls out here and girls out in the garden and girls out at the burn pile. I mean, I love Dr. Jekyll, but he's a moron. <laughs>